Because of the pink tax, the average woman is charged an extra $1,351 on goods and services each year. <laughs> Bullshit! Have you seen European Wax Center's new ad campaign? I'm about to debunk the entirety of this ad campaign, so buckle the fuck up because we're gonna do a deep dive. First, let's look at where the ad is getting this number. The source is from a 2015 study from the New York City Department of Consumer Affairs called From Cradle to Cane, The Cost of Being a Female Consumer. The goal of the study was to estimate the price differences that male and female shoppers face when buying similar items in New York City, like these two shirts. The girl shirt is slightly more expensive because it's for girls, and not because they are clearly from two different manufacturers, nope, couldn't possibly. Or these two very differently designed razor blade cartridges. The Hydro Silk costs more, but then again, it has twice the amount of hydrating gel than the Hydro 5 but they both have the word hydro on the box. That means that they should cost exactly the same. Yeah, that's not how it works. And consider this, men shave their face every day, which means they have to replace blades twice as often as women. So while a men's blade cartridge might cost less than a woman's, men are buying twice as many of them. A year's worth of the Hydro Silk would cost a woman nearly $111 a year. The Hydro 5 would cost a man nearly $180 a year. That's a 62% higher cost for men. And if you think that these are so similar, then why not just buy the men's razor? Because some women find value in the color pink and are willing to spend more to have a cuter razor, I don't know. And then they compare these two shampoos. One is a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. The other is a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Not sure how they came to the conclusion that the 2-in-1 shampoo was specifically for women, because women generally don't use 2-in-1 shampoos. Anyway, I should point out that while this was supposed to be a study about gender pricing of goods in New York, they got all of their prices from the internet. So I don't know exactly how that works. So how did the New York City Department of Consumer Affairs come up with this bullshit figure of $1,351? They didn't. They sourced a California State Senate bill analysis from 1995, which was sourcing it from a 1994 interim hearing by an assembly committee on consumer protection, governmental efficiency, and economic development. Confusing, I know. Bear with me. The author of the 1994 report, which isn't available online, supposedly found that women, on average, paid an additional $1,351 annually in California for similar goods and services due to alleged gender-based discrimination in pricing. So European Wax Center effectively got this figure from a statistic from 1994. Well, that makes no fucking sense. This is 2018. You're telling me that in 24 years, that number is unchanged? These morons neglected to adjust for inflation. $1,351 in 1994 is $2,270 in 2018. They skimmed a report, saw a number, and ran with it. We are spending more than men on the exact same stuff. Companies hike up the prices on- Oh my god, the echo. Uh, oh, let me guess. You couldn't afford proper sound equipment because of the pink tax, right? Companies hike up the prices on products marketed toward women. On dry cleaning. Even when a men's shirt is brought to the cleaners, they're typically laundered and not dry cleaned. And then they're folded in an automated press. Women's shirts and blouses are typically dry cleaned and usually need to be hand pressed as they are more delicate than men's cotton shirts, hence the higher cost. Haircuts. There's a big difference between going to the barber and going to the salon. Salons cost more because women's haircuts are usually more intricate. Not to mention that women get their hair styled with hot tools. And if a woman's hair is washed before a cut, and if their hair is longer, it requires more shampoo and conditioner and time to wash it. Speaking of hair, did you know that men's waxing services generally cost more? But shouldn't it be the same? It's the same thing. Ow, oh, you didn't even- Deodorant. <laughs> Most deodorant has the same active ingredient. The difference is the fragrance and packaging. People are likely to buy things when they are targeted directly towards them. You could always buy a gender neutral deodorant, but then you won't smell like a pretty princess or a lumberjack. Ultimately, it's your choice. Shampoo. 
then just buy a shampoo for men. Isn't it the exact same stuff? Men's hair and scalp gets oilier than women. Because of this, men have to wash their hair every day, which can make their hair dry. Therefore, many men's shampoo is formulated differently. Plus, men don't need fancy fragrances found in many women's shampoos. No man needs to smell like a coconut. Women's shampoo usually has more going for them. For example, women tend to color their hair more than men, so sometimes women need a shampoo or conditioner that protects or enhances that color. And underwear! Mm. According to the New York City Department Consumer Affairs report that the ad sourced, boys and men on average pay more for underwear, as much as 29% more. But that's only on certain styles of underwear, so take that with a large grain of salt. And hair stuff! Mm. Women put more crap in their hair than men, I don't know. But to be fair, Hairstyling products for men can be pricey too. The pink teddy bear is going to be more expensive than the blue teddy bear. If that sounds insane, it is. Oh yeah, buying teddy bears at a higher cost is one of the biggest problems facing the modern woman. And you're also making that up. So what is the European Wax Center doing to fix this supposed disparity in pricing? Well, it's amazing. Take a look. European Wax Center is offering free pink brows to help spread the word. So let's go get pink brows. Okay. Check out our pink brows, guys. Holy shit, that looks retarded. Then they paid a bunch of Instagram influencers to lie about the pink tax and show for the European Wax Center. And then they paid this Muslim woman to do a makeup tutorial where she puts a shitload of makeup on and paints her eyebrows pink. Not weird at all. Then, based on that $1,351 figure, European Wax Center is offering a 13.51% discount on one product or service for the entire month of April 2018. Wow, one whole product, take that pink tax. Ironically, this discount is both for men and women, because otherwise, that would be breaking the law by favoring one gender over another. Regardless, by the time you probably end up watching this, April will be over and the discount will be expired. So much for axing the pink tax. And then check out this bullshit. MyBilly.com, a Dollar Shave Club ripoff, will give you a pink tax rebate, but only if you refer five friends or more. You know, like a pyramid scheme. Fuck you. And if you think either of these companies are an advocate for saving women money, you're fucking dreaming. Especially European Wax Center, a business owned by two men that charges women hundreds of dollars to rip the hair from their bodies so that they meet some hairless standard of beauty. Let that one sink in, ladies. Thanks for watching, everyone. And if you liked what you saw, please click that thumbs up button and maybe even share it on Twitter and Facebook. And please subscribe because I need at least a thousand subscribers and I'm halfway there. So every click counts. And as always, I hope to see you next time.